Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for the first of what will be many episodes of Tower 3D Pro, the air traffic control simulator that is just a whole lot of fun to play. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got some allergy issues I'm dealing with, but we're going to try to make it through this here. Give you a quick introduction. We're going to start off with the Philadelphia Air International Airport. Now, the base game comes with three. It comes with St. Thomas Airport, which is the training airport. It's a simple single runway parallel taxiway, a little bit of general aviation, commercial terminal over here. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty simple, straightforward deal. Uh, the base package also has Philadelphia, which we just saw, and Los Angeles, which is huge, and has four parallel runways. So you have to deal with a lot there. So I haven't even ventured into Los Angeles yet. Now, I bought the deluxe package, which includes Atlanta, Hartsfield, Las Vegas, McCarran, and San Diego, Lindbergh. So you get three additional airports. Atlanta, of course, is huge with five parallel runways to work with. And uh, all these terminals here, the concourses, which uh, I've talked about for those of you who uh, watch my videos on uh, uh, Sim Airport, uh, where you have the underground stuff connecting these north-south uh, terminal buildings, and it's all taxiway in between. So that's really cool. Uh, I've flown through Atlanta. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Vegas McCarran's kind of interesting, too, because it's got, like, ter terminals kind of floating out in the middle of nowhere. So there's, like, underground connections and stuff to uh, other areas. They have dual parallel runways, depending on the wind conditions. And then San Diego Lindbergh is a toughie. <clears throat> you got a whole lot of terminal action here, single runway here, single taxiway here. Uh, then you have a little bit of uh, general aviation stuff over here. Okay. Uh, let's see, cargo stuff comes out of here, general aviation's over here. Typically it all takes off to the west, so it's going out runway 27. Um, and it's tricky because you got aircraft landing, and then they got to turn off, and then you got aircraft taxing out, you got to get them on the runway, get them out quick. So it's a real challenge. But today we're going to start off fairly simple with Philadelphia. And traffic density 100%, you can set the weather conditions. Foggy storage being random, we're going to go with uh, clear. And we're going to start off at 0900. You can start any time of the day on top, top of the hour. All right. Now, our runway selection, so you can click on whatever runway you want to use as the arrival runway. Okay. We're going to use 27 left as the arrival runway. Use 27 right as the departure runway. Uh, so arriving aircraft will land, and then they'll turn off either here or here or even down here. Taxi up to the terminal up here and around this way. The departing aircraft will taxi down either this way or if they're up here... They'll come out and around this way and then out. This is hotel, uh, the hotel taxiway here, H. Uh, I think this is the Foxtrot taxiway here. And they'll cross uh, 1735. And then they'll line up when we're ready for them on 27 right and take off. So let's jump in and uh, we'll give you a show of what Phil, uh, Tower 3D Pro is all about. Let the game load up here real quick. Now, you'll notice the planes here don't look very realistic. They have Denali on them. That's one of the uh, default airports built into the game. But you will see... Tower. American requesting push and start. Okay, so we'll pause right there real quick. Now, I'm going to minimize my ADRs here, which is your ground radar. So this shows you where everything is on the ground. If it's below 100 feet, it shows up on here. Okay, so you can see runway 27 left is here. Here's runway 27 right. Here's all the terminal stuff here, all right? Uh, American 790 is going to come out here on the November taxiway. And what we'll do is we'll send them down Kilo. They'll stop short of the other runway, because they always hold short of the runway. You have to give them uh, a continue taxi command to get across. Then they'll taxi over, then they'll go down hotel, and then they'll hold until we tell them to line up or give them clearance to uh, take off. Arriving flights will come in here, land on 27 left, uh, the small ones we can turn off at uniform. Uh, bigger ones may go down Sierra 5 or Yankee or Sierra 7 even for the biggest ones. Uh, and then typically what we'll do is they'll, they'll come back, they'll work down Sierra to Yankee and then over to Juliet. Now, if you have a plane coming down taxiway Yankee here off the end of the runway, you will not have a collision issue if you have a plane taking off over its head. Now, you will have a collision issue if you start an aircraft on rollout and it gets airborne before a plane landing touches the ground. So what I, what I try to do is once an aircraft that's landing is just past runway 35 here, and it's coming in this area right about here, I'll clear an aircraft on 27 to roll. 
So this guy will hit the deck before this guy gets in the air. Otherwise, they're they're too close together. The runways are, and uh, that's a collision warning, and you lose a butt ton of points, like 500 points. You get 10 points for every successful takeoff and landing. Uh, you lose 500 if you have a big violation. If you crash two planes, that's a thousand. That's not good. All uh, right, here's cargo down here, and you'll hear me call out the taxiways. You've got to enunciate. You've got to pronounce correctly. Uh, and be real clear in what you're saying. It takes a little practice, uh, but once you get used to it, you get, your, get your audio stuff all set up, it works real well. Uh, so that's the eight ears, the ground radar. Here's the uh, aerial radar, so we'll see aircraft coming on approach on the uh, dash white line that leads them into two seven left. And then we'll see them as they get above 100 feet, they'll come off this radar and onto this radar screen. And then we'll be able to see their flight uh, number and uh, their altitude and speed as they're climbing out. And then we'll hand them off to departure. Right here is the strip. The strip tells us, like you can see right here, departures. American 790, it's an Airbus A320. Uh, it's 0848 when they called in. It's going from Philadelphia to MDPC, whatever that is. I haven't looked it up. So uh, those will be the airport codes. I don't know what this code or this code is. Oh, this is this is flight number one. <clears throat> so they'll be numbered that way. Um, okay, uh, up here, let's see. You can, now the basic game for Tower 3D, you, you can do everything with your mouse, right? So I could click on this aircraft, and I could say push back approved, expect runway, uh, 27 left, uh, right. Okay, I could hit send, and it, it, it will verbally acknowledge that command. Or if you have your voice recognition set up, you can speak it. And if you speak it clearly and correctly, then you'll get that, all right? So you can play this with the mouse. It's cheaper. It's like 30 bucks or so, maybe 40 uh, If you get the mouse version, you get the pro version, that's $50 or so. Um, and that has the voice recognition. And both games have the three base runways, St. Thomas, Filthy, and uh, Los Angeles. All right. So we're going to run about a half-hour simulation here. And uh, we will get cranking things up here momentarily. I'll do a little bit of talking through this video, get you oriented with it. So uh, welcome aboard. And... Uh, Let's clear this out, and we'll get things started. Uh, to key my mic, I hit the left shift button. So hopefully my voice won't be too ratty to do this. All right. Now, I've got the game paused. You can control the time speed right here. 2, 4, 8, 16 time speed. Uh, this turns the lights on and off. And then this is your A ears. This is D bright. And then this is the strip. Turns those on and off like that. All right. Any questions? Oh, over here is your wind indication and wind speed. So winds are 327 at 2 knots, okay? That's key if you read that off to a departing aircraft, because you can, and it sounds cool. Uh, so we'll work with that. All right, so here we go. American 790, pushback approved, expect runway 27 right. Ground, 27 right, pushback approved. American 790. And so they use niner in aviation terminology because I guess, you know, English is the international language of aviation. Let's go ahead and pause. And since I'm focused on that aircraft, it's focused on it, and that's right here. Any of the aircraft you see with the lights on, they'll be departing at some point here before too long. And you'll see some of the jetways going out and stuff like that, so it looks really cool. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, English is the international language of aviation uh, and engineering. Um, so I think uh, because nine... Nine is no in German. Uh, I think they, you know, kind of did a compromise there and used Niner instead. Now this will be interesting here because you'll actually actually see planes clipping through each other, like this one right there, just clipped through the other one. So I don't know, maybe if the scaling's off or something. American seven nine or zero ready to taxi. So now they're ready to roll. American seven nine or zero, clear to taxi. Continue taxi, American. Well, I said clear to taxi. I took that to be continue. Now. I could have given them specifics, but they've already mapped out the way I want them to go. I would have said American 790, runway 27 right, taxi via Kilo, and that would have, they would go the exact direction they're going. So they've already got this figured out. Philadelphia Tower, Piedmont 4912 with you, runway 27 left. Piedmont 4912, runway 27 left, cleared to land. Runway 27 left, cleared to land, Piedmont 4912. 
So you see, uh, what I did there is I gave the voice recognition time to pick up what I was saying, and it filled in all the words up here in the command strip. And you've got to let that complete. So if I say continue taxi, but I release the, the shift key before taxi pops up, it, it won't go. They'll say, uh, re say again, please repeat, whatever. Now, I'm looking at Piedmont 49 or 1-2. They're coming in at 3,000 feet at 220 knots. All right. I can right click on it and move their little uh, indicator around here. Um, it's an Embraer Regional Jet 400. Okay. Now, I, I'm going to try to figure out what the rollout is. I think they'll be able to turn off at Sierra 5. And then Piedmont and Air Wisconsin comes up to these gates all up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Americans like all these gates over here, which is American and the old U.S. Uh, West, I mean, uh, U.S. Airways gates, because American bought U.S. Airways. Um, so now Philly is uh, a hub for them, right? So um, then you'll see Delta and United are kind of in, and uh, JetBlue or whatever kind of in this area here, and then there'll be a couple of others that come out. Uh, JetBlue, I think, comes out here in a hotel and a couple others. Philadelphia Tower. Air Wisconsin 4159 are requesting push and start. Okay, so there's Air Wisconsin, uh, uh, Canada Air Regional Jet 200. So let's uh, let's see here. I don't want to run this too long. Let me make sure I get my stopwatch going here. Okay, so let's clear this guy. Air Wisconsin 4159 er push back approved. Expect runway 27 right. Ground. Right and you saw through. I gave it enough room Air for it to Wisconsin say 27R right, and it dropped it down to 27R right. Uh, and see, he's already computed his path, but I'm going to change it on him. Now, this American 790, let's click on him. He's going to stop short of runway 35 here. You can kind of see him here. All right. American 790, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American 790. And let's see if I gave him the command too soon. I hope to give it to them before they stop completely. Uh, looks like I got it. Tower. Good. American 1686 requesting push and start. American 1686 push back approved. Expect runway 27 right. Ground. And he's going to do right. also the same thing. So I could just have him continue American taxi. And I won't have to give him commands. He's going to start on Juliet. I'm going to use Juliet for arriving flights. Alright, now I'm going to give this guy a specific path I want him to take. Because I don't want him coming down Juliet. I want to move him over to Echo. Air Wisconsin 4159er, runway 27 right. Taxi via Echo Hotel. Runway so he moved right. his path. Taxi via Echo Hotel, Air Wisconsin that way, if somebody's coming down this way or something comes up on this taxiway, on the Juliet taxiway, I can steer him out. Piedmont 49er 12, exit at taxiway Sierra 5. Exit at Taxiway Sierra 5 Piedmont. That's this taxi right here. So, if I tried to tell him to exit at American Uniform, he'd say runway's too short. American 1686, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American 1686. American 790, runway 27 right, line up and wait. Runway 27 right, line up and wait, American 790. So that'll put them on the runway. Really, I could go ahead and clear them for, for takeoff. Now, if I click on this Piedmont, it's going to focus on where they're going to be. And we'll see them when they're down below about 800 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this American flight to get out of here. American 790 wins 329 at 2 knots. Runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Wind is 329er at 2 knots, runway 27 right, cleared for takeoff, American 790. And that will get them out of here. They will they'll turn on to the active and then punch it. And they will get out before this guy gets in. He's still descending through 1,300 feet. He's just inside the 5-mile ring, so he's about 4 miles out. Uh, so it'll be a little... We'll start to see him when they're within a couple of miles of the field. Focus back on this. This guy's turning. It doesn't zoom in very much. And you can move around by clicking on and holding on the, the uh, center mouse. Oh, when you're not focused on an aircraft. So I'd have to clear, and then I can move around and look around. Pretty realistic looking maps of the airfield, of the uh, airport. So there's the Air Wisconsin. Air Wisconsin's like an American Eagle uh, setup. So is Piedmont. 
Now American 790s on our takeoff roll. Now here, see here, here's the Piedmont aircraft, but he's a mile behind him. Philadelphia Tower. So be good. UPS 204 with the runway 27 left. This is a UPS MD 11. UPS 204, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, clear to land. UPS 204. Now this plane's gonna be getting in the air here in just a second. The Airbus successfully in the air they'll pull the gear they'll be hauling out and we'll be good to go our first successful takeoff of the day now see he just showed up on here all right i'm gonna move this back up here because i like to put the departing aircraft down here now piedmont we'll focus on him but i'm gonna keep an eye on the number for american because i like handing them off to to departure at about a thousand feet air wisconsin 4159 or continue taxi continue taxi air wisconsin 4159 or American 7900, contact departure. Good day. Roger. Good morning. Good morning. Good day. Good day. Eh? You, and, and the good day part, you don't have to do. It just sounds more professional. I kind of like to sound professional. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got an Endeavor coming in behind the UPS. UPS is going to be a little bit of a trick because they'll land here. Let's see what I, if I can get them to do this correctly. Uh, what was it UPS 204? UPS 204, exit at taxiway Yankee. Unable to land. The runway is too short. So yeah, he's an MD-11. He has he needs he needs a long rollout. UPS 204, exit at taxiway Sierra 7. Exit at taxiway Sierra okay. 7. Okay. So I'm gonna have to do the the herky jerk with this guy. So he'll exit here, then he'll turn around, then I'll have him come back to Yankee and then cut across. Endeavor 4172, runway 27 left, clear to land. Philadelphia Tower, American 879er requesting push and start. American 879er, push back approved, expect runway 27 right. Runway 27 left, clear to land, Endeavor 4172. <coughs> what is this guy? Right. Airbus A320. Got a, lot, got a lot of Airbuses in here. U.S. Airways had a lot of Airbuses in their fleet. So uh, American still has a lot of Airbus A319s, A320s in here. A321 is an Airbus A320-100. Uh, this is Airbus 319, what have you. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're getting pushed back. Piedmont 49er-12, taxi to terminal via Sierra November Juliet. Taxi to terminal via Sierra November Juliet, Piedmont 49er-12. That's a bit of a trick, and I probably shouldn't do that. I should go to Papa. It makes it easier. They go really slow when they make this turn. American 7-9er. Runway 27 right. Taxi via Kilo. American 8-7-9er. Runway 27 right. Taxi via Kilo. Runway 27 right. Taxi via Kilo. American 8-7-9er. American 1-6-8-6. Continue taxi. Air Wisconsin 4159er, runway 27 right, line up and wait. Runway 27 right, line up and wait, Air Wisconsin 4159er. Now, right here is a little bit of a trick. Let's see if we can pull this off. Philadelphia Tower. I think he's going to be okay. American 1943, pushback approved, expect runway 27 right. Ground. Okay, so here's this guy coming out of this alley, and then he's going to cut across here. To, to Kilo. This is Kilo here. Juliet's here. Okay, so see the gap? All right. So this guy will push back out to here, and then he'll cut over to Kilo at this intersection. So depending on how quick he gets here, this guy may beat him there, and that, that's all well good. All right, now, meanwhile, our Piedmont Puddle Jumper, a little regional jet, is now heading down Taxiway Sierra, then he'll come to November, put him next to the active. Air Wisconsin 4159er wins 330 at 2 knots, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Wind is 330 at 2 knots, runway 27 right, cleared for takeoff, Air Wisconsin 4159er. American 1686, runway 27 right, line up and wait. Runway 27 right, I'll go line ahead and get him staged onto the, uh, onto the active. All right, we got more traffic coming in. Now, I'm watching for these check marks here, right? This guy's on pushback, and now he's on rollout. These people have been checked, this person is not. So, Piedmont. Piedmont 4867, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, clear to See, land. See, now there's a check mark. So that means you've addressed them. 
Okay, that's important. Because otherwise, the aircraft comes in. Alright, let's check tower. this here. American 2071 with you, runway 27 left. American 2071, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway two American 2033, push back approved, American expect runway 27 right. Ground, 27 right, push back approved. American 2033. Okay, American 1943 has not. Okay, now they're pushing back. Boy, they took their time there. Jeez Louise. Pokey. Pokey dokey. Alright, so we got. Air Wisconsin, I'm going to drag this down here. So, UPS is about to land. Philadelphia ground. American one Once he's on the deck. Ready to taxi. American 1943, runway 27 right, taxi via Kilo. Runway so, he's going to take that right, cut over just like I showed you. He's just going to come up here and kick over to this taxiway here. It's asphalt taxiway. All right, let's watch the UPS. MD-11 coming in. Big bird. Takes a lot of runway. These are a pain in the butt. He'll take off like 2 o'clock this afternoon. Oh shoot, we got a UPS planes going to take off. American 1686, winds 331 at 2 knots, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Wind is 331 at 2 knots, runway American 2033, right. runway 27 right, taxi American via Kilo. Runway 27 right, taxi via Kilo, American 2033. Alright, now UPS 2195, let's see what he is. He's a big bird. American. Air Wisconsin 4159er, contact departure. Good day. Roger. Good day. Philadelphia Tower. Alright, so we've got... Air Wisconsin 4179er with he just came in the 20 mile left. ring. Air Wisconsin 4179er, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, cleared to land Air Wisconsin 4179er. Alright, let's see if we can square these guys away. This is the Canada Air Regional Jet. He's coming in. Endeavor 4172, exit at taxiway Sierra 5. Unable to land. The runway is too short. Endeavor, Endeavor 4172. Then we, he's going to have to roll out, which sucks because that Piedmont, well, P Piedmont's an Embraer regional jet, so they're going to wind up rolling out to Sierra 7, which is stupid. UPS 204, taxi to ramp via Sierra Yankee. Taxi to ramp via Sierra Yankee UPS 204. Piedmont 49er 12, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Piedmont 49er 12. UPS 219er 5, pushback approved, expect runway 27 left. Ground. Now, this is going to be a trick. Now, I got two UPS planes, I'm working at the same time, but I'm going to be able to bring uh, 204 in this way. So now, Endeavor we know is going to come to Sierra 7. Uh, let's see what we can do with Piedmont. 4867. Piedmont 4867, exit at Taxiway Sierra 7. Exit at Taxiway Sierra 7, Piedmont 4867. Alright, now I gotta move this guy. American 879er, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American 879er. The only problem is these planes get on the deck and they're poking along at this point. This guy's moving pretty slow. He could have taken Sierra 5. There is no reason why he has to. Philadelphia Go beyond it. It's really stupid. UPS 219er 5 ready to taxi. UPS 219er 5, continue taxi. See, he's going continue the way I was going to UPS tell him anyway. It's just easier. Okay, now, as soon as this... Uh, shoot. This guy is just poking, and he needs to get moving. I can't send that MD-11 across yet. That's going to glom, this is going to glom things up. Oh, Jesus. Goodbye, you a-hole. I told you to turn off at Sierra 7. He said he couldn't turn off at Sierra 5. And, oh, that pisses me off. Piedmont 4867, exit at Taxiway Sierra 5. Exit at Taxiway Sierra okay, he can, 5. Okay, he can pull Piedmont off there. That's good. American 879er, runway 27 right. Line up and wait. I gave them a specific instruction. They failed to follow it, and they create a traffic jam there. Now, I could have had this UPS plane come down here, and then he could have cut across, but it's better to have him here. American 1943, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American 1943. Now, as soon as this Piedmont plane's on the deck and turning off on Sierra 5. American 639er with runway 27. Wait, let me see what this American 10. 
2071. He's an Ember Arrow 90. <sighs> this is going to be a bit of a trick here. Let me see what we've got. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a trick. I don't know if I can get this guy across in time. UPS 219 or 5, continue taxi. Nope, he didn't want to take it. So the Piedmont plane is going to be sitting there on Sierra 5, and that's going to glom up the works if I can't move 204 across. American 1686, contact departure, good day. Roger. Almost, good day. almost missed that. That would have been a loss of 500 points. American 639er, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, clear to land, American 639er. Okay, let's get this American 2071 uh, on the deck. American 2071, exit at taxiway Sierra 5. Exit at taxiway Sierra 5, American 2071. Okay. All right, let's get this guy blasting out of here. American 879er, run winds 332 at 2 knots, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Negative. American 879er. American 879er, run, winds 332 at... Oh, shoot. Negative. I hear you. American 879er. Okay, let's see if I can do this here now, because it's going to get complicated as hell. UPS 219er 5, continue taxi. Continue taxi. UPS, UPS 204, continue taxi. Say again. UPS 204, continue taxi. Say again. Damn it. UPS 204, continue taxi. Continue taxi, UPS 204. American 879er, winds 332 at 2 knots, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Wind is 332. American 1943, runway, runway 27 right, right clear, clear uh, line up and wait. Niner. American 2033, continue taxi. With you, runway 27 left. Continue taxi, American 203. Piedmont 4867, continue taxi. Runway 27, right line up and wait, American. Piedmont 4867, taxi to terminal via Papa, November, Juliet. Continue taxi, Piedmont 4867. Taxi to terminal. American Papa, 2071, taxi to terminal via Yankee, Juliet. Taxi to terminal via Yankee, Juliet, American 2071. We're in trouble here. If I can't get these guys moving, get them off the active. I think they'll be okay. Uh, Air Wisconsin coming in. What is this Air Wisconsin flight? It's a K re CR2. Air Wisconsin 4179er. Exit at Taxiway Yankee. Exit at Taxiway Yankee. Air Wisconsin 4179er. Okay, UPS is out of the way. This is good. Okay, the American's off the deck. Okay. We got him moving. Now this guy's going to continue. Okay, now UPS 204 is going to pull into his spot. He's going to be good. American 879 or contact departure. Good day. Roger. Good day. Piedmont 4817. Runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, clear to land. Piedmont 4817. Air Wisconsin 4179 or taxi to terminal via Yankee, Papa, November, Juliet. Philadelphia Tower, American 597 with you, runway 27 left. American 597, runway 27 left, clear to land. Taxi to terminal via Yankee Papa, November, Juliet Air, Wisconsin. American 1943, winds 333 at 2 knots, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 27 left, cleared to land, American 597. Now we're moving. We managed to avoid any problems there. Now what's this guy doing? Is he just starting up? American 1943. American 1858, runway 2, uh, oops, clear. Philadelphia Tower, American 1858, requesting push and start. Oh, I guess I was ahead of schedule line. Negative. American 1858, American push back approved, expect runway 27 right. Ground, 27 right, push back approved. American 1858. Okay, now, this UPS 219 or 5, this is going to be a bit of a trick. Because we're going to have to get him onto the active landing runway and get his butt in the air quick. And let me see, what what is he? There's, there's one just took off there. That's good. 219 or 5. He's an arrival. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's already off the strip because he's on the ground. Damn it. 
Uh, we'll look at the airplane, Adam. You know what airplanes look like. American 2033, runway 27 right, line up and wait. Runway 27 right, line up and wait, American 2033. Philadelphia American 19043, contact departure, good day. With you, runway 27 left. Brickyard 4730, runway 27 left, clear to land. Roger. That's another American Eagle Runway setup. Left, to land All right, now we're going to get, we're going to try this. Uh, American 639er is a 321. American 639er, exit at taxiway Yankee. Unable to land. Shoot. The runway is too short. American, American 639er, exit at taxiway Sierra 7. Exit at taxiway Sierra 7. American Airbus A320, man, do you guys not have brakes? Put a drag chute on or something. Jeez Louise. Stupid. Uh, 2071, I think, is arriving. Yeah. <clears throat> UPS, 2195, runway 27 left, line up and wait. Runway two seven uh, that's an A330, I think. It's a big bird. He should get off the ground a lot quicker than an MD-11 does, that's for sure. Piedmont, 4867, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Piedmont, 4867. All right, so we gotta watch this brickyard, uh, this Piedmont coming in, and then this guy, his guy, get his butt down there, because otherwise we're screwed. We're, we're we're working on very tight tolerance here. He has got to get down there and get off the damn active. Yep, see, so he's landed. Once he gets turning off that active, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. I said, hurry up. Hurry up. I feel like a drill sergeant. Hurry up! Okay, he's there. He's turning. He's trying. He's screwing up my day. UPS, 219 or 5. Wind's 333 at 2 knots. Runway 27 left. Clear for takeoff. Wind is 333 at 2 knots. Runway 27 left. Cleared for takeoff. UPS, 219 or 5. Okay, he's just coming into view. I think we're going to be able to get him off the ground. American 639er, taxi to terminal via Sierra Yankee Juliet. Taxi to terminal via Sierra Yankee Juliet, American 639er. Philadelphia Come on, Pokey. Air Wisconsin 4148 with you, runway 27 left. Yeah, I think we're going to pull this off. I think we're going to pull it off. Air Wisconsin 4148, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, cleared to land, Air Wisconsin 4148. I'm going to go ahead and run this guy across to Air Wisconsin 4179er. Continue taxi. Continue taxi, Air Wisconsin 4179er. Now, this American that just pushed back, power. I'm going to have him. American 668 requesting push and start. American 668, push back approved. Expect runway 27 right. Ground. Yep, we got him out of here. Pushback. All right. That American worked out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here comes that Piedmont plane. So he's climbing out now. He's off the other runway. Piedmont, 4817, exit at taxiway Yankee. Exit at taxiway Yankee, Piedmont, 4817. Piedmont, 4817, taxi to terminal via Yankee, Papa, November, Juliet. Taxi to terminal via Yankee, Papa, November, Juliet, Piedmont, 4817. UPS 2195, contact departure, good day. Roger. American 2033, three, winds at 334 three, at 2 knots, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Wind is 334 three, at 2 knots, runway 27 right, cleared for takeoff, American 2033. Three, three. I might have just screwed myself here. Tower. We got four, one on approach, you, and this guy's coming up. This is not going to be good. Nope, I'm going to get Damn it, I didn't look at my approach. Six, six, <sighs> well, we're going to eat that one. Plus, this Piedmont's still going to be on the runway here the way it's going. So, depends on how quick. If this guy hits the deck before this guy gets off the ground, we'll be okay. But it's not going to happen. They're going to be, both be in the air within 1,000 feet of each other. This guy's got to hit the deck quick. This guy's making his pull. And we're going to get the penalty. What? Uh, did, we, did, we, did, we, did we pull it off? Did we... We may have pulled that off. American 1858, runway 27 right, taxi via Kilo. 
runway 27 right taxi via Kilo American one Piedmont 4817 continue taxi Continue taxi Piedmont 4817 American 668 runway 27 right taxi taxi via Kilo Runway 27 right taxi via Kilo American That guy's good to go American 59 or 7 taxi to terminal via Yankee Juliet Taxi to terminal via Yankee Juliet American 597. Okay, that might have been loud. Sorry about that. I'm a little excited. I managed to pull that off. Piedmont 4865, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left, clear to land. American 2033, contact departure. Good morning. Roger. Good day. Good day. Philadelphia Tower, Delta 1478 with you, runway 27 left. Delta 1478, runway 27 left, clear to land. Runway 27 left cleared to land Delta 1478. So we got American 668 taxiing out. 1858 is going to cut over here. Air Wisconsin's heading to the house. This American's heading to the house. Piedmont's heading this way. He's going to cut across and go around. 59 or 7 is going across. This is looking good, folks. This is how you do it. Pretty simple. <laughs> I got lucky there on that one, though. Boy, did I get lucky not getting dinged. This is Brickyard. RPA is Brickyard. <clears throat> and uh, let me see what he is. He's in rear 70. Brickyard 4730. Exit at Taxiway Sierra 5. Exit at Taxiway Sierra 5. Brickyard 4730. Brickyard 4730. Taxi to terminal via Yankee Juliet. Taxi to terminal via Yankee Juliet. Brickyard 4730. This one's going to disappear here in a second as they pulled in. All right, everybody's accounted for. Good. All right. Nine o'clock hour, not too bad. We just worked through about 20 minutes, 30 minutes almost of uh, air traffic control time here at Philadelphia, aka Filthy, to uh, Dallas sports fans. But uh, very interesting airport. It's good second. I mean, it, it's basically where you'll break your teeth, as it were. Uh, you do training on uh, St. Thomas, but uh, then you come here to Filthy and you work on it with two runways. But it's a little bit complex because you've got a lot of different taxiways to work with. And I figured out, you know, if you've got guys going up here, run them up through the middle and then cut them over. Because you don't have that many departures. And the departures have to wait on the arrivals. So while they're waiting, you can run guys across the active. Uh, that works out pretty well. Uh, so let's see if this guy is just holding position here. Brickyard 4730, taxi to terminal. Taxi to Terminal Brickyard 4730. Brickyard 4730. Taxi via Yankee Juliet. Philadelphia Tower. American 2114 with you. Runway 27 left. American 2114. Runway 27 left. Clear to land. Taxi to Ramp via Juliet Brickyard 4730. Runway 27 left. Cleared to land American 2114. So this is how you do it. Philadelphia Tower, Air Wisconsin 4106 requesting push and start. Air Wisconsin 4106, pushback approved. Expect runway 27 right. Ground. American 1858, right approved. continue taxi. Air Wisconsin 4106. Piedmont 4817, continue taxi. Continue taxi American 1858. Continue taxi Piedmont 4817. Let's see what this Air Wisconsin 4818 is here. It's coming in. CR2. Air Wisconsin 48. Air Wisconsin 4148. Exit at Taxiway Yankee. Exit at Taxiway Yankee, Air Wisconsin 4148. Okay, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Our first episode here on Tower 3D Ground. Pro. Air Wisconsin 4106. Of course you are. Ready to taxi. Air Wisconsin 4106. Runway 27 right. Taxi via hotel. Runway two seven so you gotta know the phonetic alphabet, and then you gotta learn the you know some of the uh, names of the various airports. Four eight six zero with you. Runway two seven left. Piedmont four eight six zero. Runway two seven left. Clear to land. Runway two seven left. Cleared to land. Piedmont four eight six zero. Air Wisconsin four one four eight. Taxi to terminal via Yankee Papa November Juliet. Taxi to terminal by Yankee. American 1858, runway 27. Right. Cl line up and wait. 
Runway yeah. two seven right it, line. It misinterpreted some of it, I I because I fudged it, but I mean I got it. American six six eight, continue taxi. Continue taxi, American six six eight. Air Wisconsin four one four eight, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Air Wisconsin four one four eight. So we'll pause it there, and uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Cool stuff. We'll be doing a lot more of this. I really enjoy this game. Uh, we'll do a couple more here at Philly. We'll do one in the evening, do one where it's a little more busy. Um, and then we'll look at going out to the left coast uh, and checking out uh, LAX or San Diego or even Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please give us a like. We appreciate it. And uh, share with your friends. Let them know about Tower 3D Pro, now available on Steam. Link in the description below. And subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. We appreciate all our subscribers out there. Thank you, guys. It really means a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.